Keep out on me. Montana. Gate belt. Wanna do it too? Montana can do it together. When you go to the airport, your luggage has Sorry. handles on it. Our patients do not have handles. Put handles on your patient. Gate belt. You know how that one works? The key is that as you're trying to figure out how to lace it, because if you can't see right now, you're not going to know how to lace it. So get it to where you guys can see. Recording, thank you. Maybe you'll share with your peers. Um, you'll know you lace it right if you go to pull it, like grab my handle, and if it doesn't get loose, you're good. If it gets loose, you've done something wrong, try again. Right? And I've been a nurse for a long time, and like it's like 50-50 if I get it right on the first try. Like, can you repeat that? If you, if, like, so we'll show you here in a second. Okay, what I said, so I would like a little tighter, but maybe it's not too bad. Um, Tanner pulls on this. She has it on right because what? It's not loose. Now, if you go to pull on this and it's, it's getting loose on you, you didn't put it in right. So what she did, she wrapped it in the teeth. She went through the teeth. I like a little bit tighter. Your skin. Well, people are a little squishier. Two fingers. <laughs> is what I, like. squishy. <laughs> I need to work on my squishiness. And then she got it just to tail out like that. Then she knows I'm good. So now, when I had my... So guys, when I had my walker, I held it on what side? We the side. strong side. Strong side. Now I don't have one. Where does Tanner walk? Strong, strong side. side. Behind you. She walks on my weak side behind me. Which side? I'm sorry. You. This I haven't said what side the weak side is yet. It's okay. Well, you we had to walk. So I'm assuming this is your strong side. Okay, so the right side is my strong side. She's going to walk on that side. Because if I'm going to fall without a device, it's going to be when I take my... I'm going to be good when I lift up my... She's doing good. She's like boosting me already. And I go to step, and I go to put weight on this. This is when I'm going to fall. Which way I'm going to fall? There you go. Mm. Does that make sense? If she was on the other side, go on the other side, and we'll do the same thing. Now she's on the wrong side. So I take my, my uh, strong leg. No, I didn't do that. What did I do last time? I don't know. My weak leg. I'm going to put my weight on my weak leg. Oh, I'm, I'm good lifting on my strong leg. I'm going to put my weak leg down, and I'm going to fall that way. Yeah. It's going to be hard for her, right? Because if I go to fall... Go back on the other side. Let's see how she, you work, right, in the hospital? Yes. Let's see how you handle this. I'm going to assist you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to assist you. Okay, right. I'm going to do. Okay, you ready? Yeah. This is what I want you to do. So, strong leg, right? I'm going to put the weight on my weak leg, and I... <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That was really good. Woo! And I put my full weight, like guys, I put my full weight. No, as she said, I'm a skinny mini, so that's not too bad. But uh, <laughs> if at any point during that process, Tanner was like, I feel like my back's going to pop. I feel strain on my neck. I feel like I'm going to get a musculoskeletal injury. She lets me go and lets me hit the floor. She, she gets one body in her life, one back in her lifetime, one spine in her lifetime. One. How many do I get? One. Is mine more important than hers? No, it's not. We are both humans. We are both equally right. If she feels unsafe in that situation, she steps away, I smack the ground, she assesses me, she fills out the paperwork, and she says, attempted to guide patient to floor, was unable to successfully to do so. She's going to be protected. Law, she, can, she gets sued. Guys, you can get sued for anything. Yes, she can get sued. Is she going to lose that lawsuit? No, she's not. Because any other reasonable nurse who would, would attempt to guide me safe to the floor, right, but they don't feel safe because of their own body, they get out of the way. That's the standard of practice. My body's not more important than Tanner's. The only thing I would do differently. Also, Joe, I'll throw one on you, okay? Okay. Does anybody else want to practice this real quick? Because I know how to put it on. Does anybody want to practice what's been the gay belt on? I don't do it. Okay, at the end of the special, when you have to put the gay belt on, you're not going to know how because you don't want to practice. Okay. Okay. <sighs> see, you can tell I'm a teacher because I'm in a way where you guys can all see. <laughs> <laughs> Someday. Goals. Be mini Tim. It's a terrible goal in life. <laughs> I'd like it a little tighter. <laughs> oh, now, now he's not all squishy. <laughs> Getting it tighter, it's actually easier to have patients get it tighter themselves. Okay. 
So now we're going to do the same thing we did before. Tanner's going to right leg, strong leg, left leg, weak leg. I'm just going to show you something slightly different that might help you in the process, okay? But I think what Tanner did was great. So good. Left leg up, left leg down to the fall. Look where my knee is. I take my knee right there, and I just... <laughs> I, like, I can stand like... I can stand like this all day, it feels like, right? And then I can say, Nate, grab the wheelchair. I don't want to wait too long because I don't want to get fatigued. But I got a second or two where I can get help to lower her to the ground. Come over here, help me grab her. She's going down, right? And all I did was take my back leg, make it mostly straight, and take my knee. And you got full weight on me? Yeah. Full weight. I do. Okay. And then, like, if I'm responding because I see. Yeah, come over, we'll grab her. Proper, like, there is no. There's no. Jay, grab her. Let's get her. Who's got the wheelchair? <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. That, yeah. You, but but from there, let's say it's it's say it's 15 seconds and no one's responding to me. Then I'm doing exactly what Tanner did. I'm putting her on the ground. And the most important thing is this. Okay. This this makes the heart and the lungs breathe. The spine, yeah, it's important, but it's not as important as the head. Okay. So that's guided falling. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. Thanks. So if you had a patient that was like very obese, yeah, would, you would have someone else with Where, you. Where's right? uh, Renee? Come here. Like, we have these client with Renee. Renee. <laughs> we have we have uh, Shaquille O'Neal's in our hospital, and Renee's taking care of him. And he's he had a stroke. That's cool. That's <laughs> cool. She's gonna need help. She's gonna know ahead of time, okay. even though the algorithm says that she can move him by herself. She's gonna be like. Mm. I was gonna say like obviously she would probably mm -hmm. drop the bird. Like there's no way. No. She, she, would, she, would, she would not even try. She would just move out of the way, and that's fine. Okay. Okay. All right. So next we will have, uh, and we'll use someone else. He wants to get up out of the wheelchair. There's another one if you guys want to practice as we're learning. So you're in the wheelchair. I'm sorry. That's okay. Because we'll imagine that we don't have a gate belt. Let me see. Sure. Most of the time we do have gate belts. Do you use on me? If your hospital doesn't have a gate belt, go buy a gate belt. Carry it around. Sure. Let me get my idea. Okay. okay, so first thing, someone's in a wheelchair. They need to be in the wheel. They need the wheelchair to be locked at all times, unless they're getting moved around. Now, this wheelchair already has the legs removed from it, so it makes it easy. Okay. Now, putting the gate belt around her and using that as a handle is the preferred technique. Okay? But again, I'm saying we don't have a gate belt. What do we do in this situation? My preferred technique is two people. Right? Two people. Nate, would you assist? Sure. Okay. Now, Jen is a little short. Okay, so that makes it hard because her feet aren't flat. But get your feet as flat as you want. Okay, we can slide her forward. What I like to do is I like to block the foot. Now, no one gets up and stands up in the hospital without non-slip shoes on or slippers. There's no bare feet and there's no regular socks in the hospital. They bring them in, you send them home. No regular socks in the hospital. We need to have our slip special socks on. And then I like to block the foot. Okay. And then I like to try to get in a position where I can go knee to knee if I can. Now it's kind of hard because Jennifer's short and we're both kind of tall. Okay. But Nate, turn around. I'm going to buckle your knee, don't fall. You've done that to your friends, right? You've walked behind your friends? <laughs> right? You've done that, yeah? Your friends, you're like, no, my friends don't do that. I need better friends. Yeah. Nate, bend your knee. If I do this to Nate's knee, he has no choice but what? To stand up. So if a patient goes, if Jen goes to buckle, now first off, we can just push her into the wheelchair. That's a safe fall compared to the floor. But also, I can put, put knee on knee and use my knee to leverage her knee straight so mechanically she has to stand up. Does that make sense? Okay. So I like to do foot to foot, knee to knee. Now, we're not the right size for Jen. Okay. And then ideally, we would have a gate belt on her. We don't have a gate belt on her. We're not going to go under her arms ever. Right? We didn't do it when we boosted. We're not going to do this because that can cause displacement or subluxion of the shoulders. Okay. So hopefully, if she doesn't have a gate belt, she has hospital pants on. No hospital pants, not getting out of the, the wheelchair. I'm gonna put hospital pants on her. I'm gonna shimmy them off her legs because I need something to grab onto. Because if I grab onto the gown and she goes to fall, now she's falling and she's naked. <laughs> <laughs> it's reality. Does that make sense? So she has pants on, so that helps us. Are you okay with me and Nate putting our hands around your elastic band? Yes. Okay. And then, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna forget. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not there. And then, where does her arm go? They go on our triceps. So Nate, grab onto me. Grab onto my like grab onto my triceps. If Nate's grabbing onto my triceps and I really want to disengage, I can try to disengage like this. Okay? Put your arms around my neck or on my shoulders. 
I can't disengage him as the patient. Does it make sense? So if he's putting too much strain on my shoulders or my neck, I'm stuck. Head it's butt. on my arms. I can sh do that, and hopefully he'll slide off my arms. Hit the ground, and I'm protected again. Does that make sense? So where do patient's arms always go? Back of the arms. They never go on your neck. They never go on your shoulders. They go to grab your shoulders. You walk away. Right, I've been three times I've had my back hurt in the hospital. All three times it was from a male patient who would not listen to my directions. Do not put your arms around my neck or shoulders. And they just bear claw me and try to use me as a, like, a, like I'm a, some kind of like telephone pole. Mm -hmm. I'm not. You hurt my back. Thank you. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm a human. Like, I have one spine. Sit there. We're leaving the room. <laughs> there. And then there. And then on your count of three. One, two, three. Okay. Difference between me and Nate. Did you feel it in your leg? Yeah, but then you go like that. Yeah, so, so if you go like that, like, guys, you should go looks to fall. Push her back in the wheelchair. Don't throw her over the wheelchair. <laughs> right? I took two fingers and I just put a little bit of pressure in her chest and her to the back. Okay, that's two people without a gate belt. Ideally, a gate belt, two people is what we like. One person by themselves without a gate belt. Feet to feet, knee to knee, onto the hospital pants. No hospital pants, not getting out of the wheelchair. Okay? Unless we have a gate belt, and then I can do that. Jenny, you got elbows. It's going to be on your count of three. We're going to rock this time. Okay. Every time you count, we're going to rock because your momentum is going to help us. Okay. One. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want to make sure you guys see this position. I am not like this. I am trying to keep a neutral spine. I'm trying to keep a flat back. Corky. My head Corky. is straight. <laughs> it is not up. It is not down. It is straight. I am trying to keep myself in an ergonomically safe position. I get one body. Okay. One, two. Okay? Ideally gave up, but no gave up, we're okay. You guys good with that? Mm -hmm. Questions? Okay. You can alternatively, instead of her grabbing my elbows, let's sit back down. She can put her hands on the arm rails and push up. Either one of those are acceptable. Okay, so she could push up as we're getting up on the arm rolls. Or if she was by herself and she was just stand by for assist, say so slide closer to the edge. Okay, when you're comfortable, I want you to push up with your arms and it's very important that you get your hips on top of your feet. So I tell my patients all the time, hips, 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 because when they go to, when they start to, because their hips are here, now they're using their muscles. If I'm like this, I'm using all bone. My bone is on my bone and that's just causing a straight line up and it's easier. This requires muscle, this requires bone. Does that make sense? So I say, get your hip, and I will take my hand out, push my patient's hips all the time. Get your, because they'll be walking on their walker like this. Get your hips underneath you. Okay, so if it's just standing assist, good. That's it, wonderful. Okay, now let's say, Jen, Jen you still okay to be in my sure. volunteer? Let's say we're gonna use, oh, Nate has one there we can use. Sit back down. Yeah. This one is not even. The students were messing with it. Now you got it? Mm -hmm. First off, Jen, just playing with us, even the right This is too high for you. Guys, you want it to be here, like greater trochanter height, two inches below your belt. Make sense? Mm -hmm. We want a little bit lower for you, I think. Oh, we're not going to go any lower for you. <laughs> Sit back down. Now I want her to use the walker, right? We do not use walkers to get out of the chair. We do not use walkers to get into the chair. The walker is meant for walking. It's not meant for sitting or standing up. It does not say standing assist device. It does not say sitting assist device. It says walker. So it's for what? Walking. Walking dead. So everything we did the same would be the same. However, we have to get out of bed. Two people, one person, gate belt, no gate belt. All that's the same. Now she's standing up. Once she's standing up, we hand her the walker. And then she walks from in the walker. Does that make sense? <laughs> she's an athletic patient. <laughs> Let me show you why we don't use the walker to get out of bed. Or out of chair. Either way, because I'm on the side of the bed, I'm on the side of the chair. She's getting her own shaking her head. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Not good. Does that make sense? The walker's at the side, you get them standing up, and then you hand them the walker. 
How do we walk with the walker? Close to you. You walk in the walker. It's like, there's like, it should be, I wish there was like a backside to keep your butt in. Like some type of belt. For sure. Let you know, hey, you're too far. You gotta walk in the walker. So it's walker, walk into the walker. Walker, weak leg into the walker, strong leg into the walker. Walker, weak leg in the walker, strong leg in the walker. It can have wheels, it can have tennis balls. That's all okay. None of that matters to me. It's all the same. If it rolls, you still gotta roll with it inside the wall. You gotta be in the walker. Because if I go to fall, it's gotta be able to hold me. Right, does that make sense? If it's out here and I go to fall, nothing. My arms are doing nothing, okay? And to use a walker, you have to be able to support leg weight on both legs. If you can support leg weight with only one leg, you need to use crutches. Walker requires weight support with both legs. You must be able to be allowed to bear weight on both your legs and be able to do so. Walk in the walker. Not this. <laughs> can you give me the, the juice I can't read? That's Walmart walker. <laughs> Any questions about the walker? Two inches below the belt, approximately. Because if you have it too high, then you're using too much muscle if you go to fall because you have to straighten up your arms. So you want your arms so they're just ever so slightly bent. This is actually a little bit lower for me. I'll probably like it there. Okay? So that I can just straighten my arms and then I can lock my arms. And again, I'm using bone to hold me up instead of muscle to hold me up. You guys okay with that? Monica? What's the purpose of walkers with wheels on them? Just makes it easier to get around the house. Just easier. Okay. Yeah, you, you got to be cognizant. There's a balance between keeping patients safe and their hardwood floors. Okay. Our hardwood floors are nice and they paid a lot of money for them and they don't want to scratch them up. And that's why they put tennis balls on them and stuff like that. That's it. But they got to be steady enough. And luckily for us, we do a lot as nurses referring. We're going to talk to a physical therapist and they're going to make the recommendation to the doctor who's going to order the right walker for that. Based upon the patient's variables. Um, when they're sitting in the, in the wheelchair and you have the gate built around them, yeah. you know, your body naturally curves. Yeah. So when you're pulling them up and if, if it starts to move, I know it's supposed to be tight enough to where it doesn't move, right, but if it. it starts to move, yep, sit them, back down, them back down and tighten, tighten it up. up. You got it. Common sense nursing, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of nursing common sense. Great answer. So with the wheelchair, you said if you're not moving, you should lock it in place. It's always locked. So at meal times, we have like residents who will like stroll away from the like table. They like, to go, people, they like to go socialize. Yeah, some yeah. people will like lock it in place, but I heard once that it's considered a restraint. That, Do you no, it's not a restraint. It? It's not. It's not if I consider it. It's just not. All right. Yeah. And this is the challenge. This is why on exam one, and many of you missed this question, how should novice nurses best govern their practice based upon established rules and regulations, not based upon what nurses do? Because right now you believe whatever nurses tell you because they're a nurse. Yeah. And clearly they know what they're doing. Right? You ever seen a police officer speed? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I don't know. Oh, yeah. That was in policy, unless you're going to an emergency room. Right. So my point being is nurses do stuff all the time that, that the their teacher on. taught them that their teacher didn't know what's going on or they make up their own things. It's not a restraint. Okay. Okay. So good question. All right. So now I'm in the wheelchair, and you need to transport me around the hospital, but my legs, they are sore. I can't hold them up anymore. Do you want to put on the legs? Come on. Melissa's ready for church, guys, tomorrow. She's coming to open up. Her pants are holy. Yes. That's my spring. That's also a country song. All of our jeans have holes on them, whether you bought them that way or not. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And I like what you got. You got on her knees. Get comfortable. Okay? And then, guys, as when we have a little amount of time here, you got to play with everything. Like, this extends out. This makes it open and close. It comes off. Okay? You can raise it up so it's more comfortable for me. Does that make sense? Okay? Then they can push me around the, the hospital. And then as soon as they're pushing me around, they lock it. And if I'm going to get into the car, because that's the most time that we as nurses push people in wheelchairs, because most of the time the transporters push people in wheelchairs. But if they're going to leave the hospital, we oftentimes take them out. Just kick this off to the side. Yep, kick that off to the side. And then we go through the whole process of standing up again, whatever that might be. And you help me into the car. Okay. So the lights coming on and off. All wheelchairs. This is bulky. This takes up a lot of room. All wheelchairs. 
collapse like that. Doesn't matter if they have a sling bottom or a padded bottom. You pull on the middle, they will collapse together. Okay, all wheelchairs do that. Okay. Um, good with the wheelchair, good with the walker. Crutches. Oh, some of these are my actual crutches. Two sets are. <laughs> That's right, my ankles. I'm like, how do we get so many crutch sets? I was like, I had a few in my barn. So. Actually, here, because we have eight hours, let's uh, continue to keep you guys active. Let's walk over to the stairs. Guys, come closer. You gotta get all your ears. I know we're all snowies, but I'm going up the stairs. <laughs> Can I scoot in behind you? Like yeah, we still got people in the hallway, guys. We gotta make room. We gotta, we gotta figure it out. Okay, I'm going up the stairs with crutches. How do I do that? Safest answer. Safest answer. Just <laughs> <laughs> safest answer. I don't use crutches to go upstairs. This is what you want your this is what you want your patient to do at home. That you want to set the crutches to the side, right? And you want to scoop them up and down your stairs at home. That's the safest answer to not falling on the stairs. No, we don't want to do that here at Heather's, and all these stairs are pretty dang dirty. And it's kind of embarrassing that I have to go up and down the stairs that way. So second best answer. Make them one crutch and carry them on the side. Does that make sense? And it would clearly depend on which leg was the bad leg that side of which rail I would use. Okay, some railings only have one rail though. Some stairwells only have one rail. Now let's get to the real question. I'm gonna use the crutches to go up the steps. What goes first? Strong leg, weak leg, or crutches? There's three options, right? Only got four things they're gonna move and two of them move together. Those are the crutches. So let's, let's figure it out. When you're taking the test, just stop and think about this moment. Okay, it's not the crutches. Not the crutches because, well, I can't get them up there. Strong leg? Yeah. Strong leg. Good to go to heaven. Oh, that's good. Good to go to hell. Good to go to heaven like that. Good leg goes to heaven. And the bad, which we'll figure out in a second, means when I come down the steps. Okay? And then, step. That's good. Crutches can't go first. What happens if my weak leg goes first? Okay. Now I have a weak leg that I can put all my body weight on. You have any strength. I'm going to freaking fall. Okay. Right. Good to go to heaven. I like it. Thank you. Right, I'm going down the steps. No, they give us a little hint, but let's see if it has to be my crutches or my feet first. Definitely my feet. Definitely my feet. Oh, God. Oh, God. Strong. I definitely can't be the crutches. The crutches can't go first. Am I right? That's be strong. No. You're making me strong. You're making me so happy. It has to be the crutches. It has to be the crutches, right? What did you say? Did you say the crutches? Look how far you have to go down with it. I say crutches first, right? Yeah, yeah okay. I just, what did you say before? Did you say leg? Definitely the leg. Yeah, it's just not possible. I can't I can't reach it. Okay, well then show me. Okay, so it's gotta be and Nate, you're saying the weak leg? Weak leg. For after the crutches. Yeah, it's crutches, then weak leg. Yeah, that's right. Because my strong leg pulled on my I meant just the leg. But yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah, you're right. You were saying the same thing. So crutches. And then weak leg, because if I put my, right now, this would be my weak leg. I'd have to put all the weight and be able to lower myself down with my weak leg. So it's weak leg, and now I have my crutches and my weak leg together, strong leg. Weak leg goes to hell. Good leg. After the crutches. you got to figure out what the crutches are doing first. <laughs> but I can't go down the steps. Like, going up, it's got to be, it's got to be my strong leg first, right? Because if I'm going up, I can't do crutches first. And going down, I can't do legs first. <laughs> Does that make sense? You guys good? So I really like when they said, never heard that before? Strong leg to heaven, or good, good, leg, good, good leg to heaven. Good leg to heaven and weak leg to hell. But what happens if you were to do the strong leg coming down, like you did a strong before weak? So I did uh, the weak leg here, wait, so crutches, uh -huh. then you're saying what? Strong leg. 
And so now I think the problem is that my weak leg has to support all my weight as I'm stepping here. Okay. Does that make sense? I think it's just less optimal. Okay. Less optimal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your leg give out yeah, the weak leg might give out, but whereas the strong leg, because it's supporting my entire weight, mm -hmm. now it's less likely that my strong leg is I'm doing that's going to give out. Because if you go at your weak leg first, like you're relying on the crutches. My weak leg does go first. I mean, no, the crutches and then a the weak leg. That's what we want you to do. Because the crutches and the weak leg are together, and the strong leg here is holding the weight by itself. Does that make sense? Okay. Any other questions about crutch blocks? Nate, thanks for the insight. Mm -hmm. Everyone understand why? When you have to decide which crutch goes first, just think about me. Four types of common crutch blocks. Three ones we do with these crutches. The first one is your common injury: ACL, ankle sprain. It's a unilateral leg, meaning I can't bear weight on one leg, or I'm not supposed to bear weight on one leg. And this is called the three-point crutch block. So, say it's my left leg, my bad leg. It's going to be crutches, two inches, six inches, six inches, which means two inches below my armpits. I think, never mind, it's two, two, and six. Two inches below my arm, no, two, six, and six. Dang it, I got to look on the slides. It's either two, six, and six or two, two, and six. I'm I think sorry. it's two, two, and six. I got to look on the okay. slide. I can't, my brain is I'm tired today. I'm sorry, it's been a long day. So, I think it, you think it's what, Billy? I thought it was two, two, and six. I think it might be two, two, and six also. Nate, any insight? Yeah. Two, two, and six, okay. Just tell me, Jesus. <laughs> so, two inches below my armpits, two inches to the side, six inches in the front. Okay? So, and then it's crutches, foot, crutches, foot, crutches, foot, crutches, foot. Okay, you know what six inches is here because each one of these blocks is six inches. It makes it easy to practice. This is not you in high school or your friends in high school. How about you just walk with, with the three point crutch walk? <laughs> two, two, and six. Two below my armpit, two to the side, six in front. Step to the crutch. You know you're going to have ACL surgery. Who just tore their ACL? Big time after. Did you? No, I'm just kidding. Cousins. Did they, what did they tell you to train before you got surgery? So yes, the leg muscles got it. What else? They should have told you something. They were good practitioners. They told you to train something. Your arms. What part of your arms? Your triceps. Triceps. It's all about the triceps. Every time I take a little step, tricep extension. Because this should not be on my axilla. I will get skin breakdown and will hurt so bad if I sit on this all day long. Make sense? So it's triceps. Okay. Now next we have, so that's for one, I can bear weight on one leg. Right? Three point crutch rocks is my only option. Now I can bear weight on two legs. Walker, yes, check, can use that. Or I can do a four point crutch walk. Four point crutch walk is four independent points moving by themselves, okay? So this is the um, person who's just learning how to walk again. There's also like trapeze bars, you've seen like the veterans on TV, we're donating, yeah. So we, we're not talking about any of that stuff. We're not in the physical therapy lab. We're trying to teach people how to walk, getting at home or in the hospital, okay? So it's four points, point one, point two, point three, point four, point one, point two, point three, point four, point one, point two, point three, point four. So it goes crutch, opposite foot, 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 crutch, opposite foot. Four point crutch walk, okay? Then there's the two point crutch walk. So three point was this, four point was this, opposite, 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 opposite. And it's really, guys, it's not at the same time. It's I move the crutch and I move the foot. They are separate points, okay? And then there's the two point. And I always think about the Soviet, uh, which is so funny because Donald Trump's like, they had this big, where they had the tanks and they're in the capital and it made me feel empowered, so we're gonna do it in DC, but they march like this. Right? The Soviets march like this. So you gotta think when you're doing the two-point crutch walk, you're marching. Because what is happening is this crutch and this foot are attached together, and this crutch and this foot are attached together. So you're gonna two points. And this and crutch and this foot opposite opposites are attached. 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 It's almost like walking like I'm the Terminator. <laughs> okay, and so you start off with the four point crutch walk, 
or walking in a walker and then you regress to that walk. Okay? Your physical therapist friend will tell you what they prefer your patient to do. They will educate your patient, but you're gonna be on the floor, you're gonna have to reinforce, hey, you're not doing that right or you are doing it right, okay? Make sense? And they can bear weight in both legs with that. They have to be able to bear, bear, bear weight on both legs for both the four point and two point. Okay, the only one they don't bear weights on is the three point. Three point. Walker both legs, bear weight. All right. All right, we got a bunch of sets of crutches. We have the gate belts, we have the wheelchairs. So everyone practice. <laughs> 